Greetings and salutations, you guys! It's Hayden here. Welcome to another late night live sale this Friday, April 1st. Oh my gosh, it's April 1st. How exciting. Zach's birthday is just in a few days, so I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, his birthday's on April 3rd, so he's turning double digits. He's turning 10, so it's a big one. We're pretty excited. Let's see who's in here. Um, hi, Fox 10, Mulder 13. There's Odelia, Sophia, Lee, I'm glad. Oh, hi, Sophia. Welcome to the live sales. There's Cindy, Lori, Silver Snowdrops 01. Hi, Brina. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, if you could hit the like button, that always does help immensely. Hi, Eclair. Um, oh, hi, Tanya. How's it going? I hope you like all your bags that you got. I'm super excited that you got them. Hi, Angela. Um, but what should the question be tonight? I didn't even think of one again, as per usual. But, um, hi, Norma. Hi, Dodo Bird, Taryn. Hello. Um, if someone wants to think of a question for me, that's perfect. <laughs> we can use that. Hi. Oh, Koi Pond, a.k.a. Dapperly Grungy. How's it going? Hi, Anna. Hi, guys. Did you guys all have a good week? Oh, you know, I need to message John to make sure he remembers to walk the dogs. All right. I messaged John. Perfect. Hi, Olga. How's it going? Okay. So. Oh, Rosa. Yay. I'm super excited. Oh, Brina. That's no problem. Just give me the dimensions. Did anyone... Oh my gosh, yeah, you know what? I totally forgot that today was April Fool's. It is. <laughs> yeah. What is your... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what my birth flower is. How do you know what your birth flower is, Angela? Oh, Odelia, yes. Let me check it out. How about what's your favorite flower? Because I don't even know what my birth flower is. <laughs> Hopefully it's something yellow, because that's like my favorite color. Uh, but let's see what Odelia has to share with us today. Oh, that Duty and Burke doctor bag is awesome. You guys, check out this Duty and Burke doctor bag. That is so cool. Um, and then it looks like, oh, a couple of Kate Spade things. A pouch... Actually, two pouches and a wallet. That's awesome. And those wallets look like they're really in great condition, too. What is the most expensive designer item have you... <gasps> That's a good one, too. It's usually with your birthstone. Oh, okay. What's my birthstone? I think mine is like the... Is it like an aqua? It's like something blue is my birthstone I think actually now I want to look it up I want to see what my birth flower is okay let's do the birth flower today and then we're going to use um, Koi Pond's question tomorrow for what's your most expensive designer item that you've purchased because I think I like I like that um, that birth flower question so Angela we're going to use yours yay thanks for the question Angela so tonight's question is what is your birth flower thank you again Angela for the question um, but it looks like Brina's uh, is a morning glory and Jag is a honeysuckle. Oh, those are cute. Yay, Claire. Okay, hold on. I'm going to look up what my flower is. Birth, flower, march. Uh, birth flowers. Oh, there's like a little chart. And march is... Oh, I'm a daffodil, and it is yellow. <gasps> Yay! That's cool. Okay, well, my birth flower is a daffodil, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> All right. Um, let me leave you guys the link for the giveaway. Let me grab this right here. So there's the link, and tonight's giveaway... Is this one is so cute? 
It's the cutest little bunny charm. It has like a little ring right here at the top. You can put them on your handbag or on your keys. And he's super soft and furry. Love it. Look how cute that is. He even has little like easy, like a little leather pieces under his ear too. And it's so, so soft. He has little paws and little feet. It's like literally the cutest ever. So, um, mine's probably weird. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey, weeds are beautiful too. They're, people just call them weeds because they just grow too well, you know? Gladiolus and poppy. <gasps> oh, I love poppies. Actually, um, where I live, there are a lot of like wild poppies and it's really pretty. Daisy and the sweet pea. Oh, I love the, uh, the little flowers that sweet peas have. And I also do love daisies. Oh my gosh, that's true, Brina. <laughs> Isn't the bunny so cute? It's literally the cutest. Again, so that the link is right here. I left it here in the live chat, wherever it is on the screen. And this is tonight's question. Thank you again, Angela. What is your birth flower? Oh, and you know what? Um, weeds, which are like mustard plants that grow on the side of the freeway, are actually what Fen Fen is derived from. And Fen Fen was that drug that people used a long time ago to get really skinny. <laughs> and there are a lot of side effects. I remember like back in the day, like all of, like my mom never was on Fen Fen, but she had a lot of friends. And we had a lot of friends, like family friends and all that, like that took Fen Fen and they got so skinny so quickly and it was crazy and that is derived from a little mustard plant that people consider weeds on the side of the freeway which i think is native to somewhere here in southern california so that's pretty crazy hi jessica i'm doing well how are you hi at the eyes how's it going Right? Doesn't Angela, like, have, like, the best hair? And she has such a beautiful smile. Oh, And then, oh, Jessica, too. Jessica, I love your hair. P.S. That looks, that, like, your hair looks amazing there. Everyone was thin and cranky. <laughs> right? That was the early 2000s. Or was it the, early, the late 90s? It was the late 90s, I think, right? Was when everyone was, like, thin and cranky because they were on Fen Fen. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. So, um, again, the link is right here. If you guys want to enter, leave your answer for what your birth flower is in the comments of that video. And then at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be announcing the winner. And tonight's giveaway is for the cutest little rabbit charm. Super duper fun and soft. Oh, it is my last. Is it not working? Hold on. Let me just make sure if I got the link correct. Uh, shareable link. Okay, there it is again. I think I actually put the wrong video. Um, I was lying about the link. This is the right one. I'm leaving it again. <laughs> it's that one that I left three times. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I just put the wrong one. Oh, spread by explorers to mark return trails and next. I didn't know that, Eclair. So it's not actually native, but it was just, it's just growing crazy here. Actually, um, we in my town, like where I live, we have like wild poppies, but we also have wild mustard plants, which are like weeds. And right now there's a mega bloom uh, happening all over the town. And it's just like yellow everywhere. It's really, really pretty. Like all the hills are yellow and it's gorgeous. Yeah, Fen Fen was like really, really bad. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun, Rachel. All right, you guys, let's get started. Um, but thank you guys again for being here. I'm really, really excited. 
<laughs> next week's question do you know anyone that took Ben Ben? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's get started. What am I going to start with? Um, okay, let's do this. Oh, actually, I wanted to clean this off really quick before I show it. Um, Dapperly. Um, actually, I'm very close to Diamond Bar. Oh, with wine. <laughs> that makes everything fun, right? Oh, perfect. This is cleaning off perfectly. But first of all, did you guys have a good week? Did anyone do anything fun? Or do you have anything fun planned for the weekend? Like I said in the beginning, to this weekend is Zach's birthday. And... He actually had um, one of his friends come over the other day, and we were going to throw him a party, but it was like, we, he wanted to do like a, kind of like a pool party thing, but this weekend it's like super cold, and last week it was like perfect, it was like in the 90s, so I think we're going to wait a little bit, and then we're going to throw him a party once it's like nice and um, warm, so that way we can do like a little pool party for him. But we're definitely going to be celebrating, like, this whole weekend. <laughs> Mom's like, we're just going to eat every single night, and it's going to be lots of fun. And I think tomorrow, um, some of my sister's friends are coming over, so that should be fun, too. And then we're just going to eat and have fun. Taxes are done. Oh, my gosh. I know, right? Oh, Angela, that's always fun. Having the kids over. Alright, so item number one. This is it. So this is an away, like, uh, I think it's kind of like a makeup, toiletry, kind of bag thing. Uh, it is, remember when I thrifted that away luggage? I think it was like a, f like a few months ago. And I was able to find the, like the, um, what was it? Like the lock code for it, which was so cool. But this is exactly the same color. It's in that really light pink. And it just has, like, the design, kind of like the luggage. Here's the inside. It just has one little pocket right there. And, yeah, it's in fantastic condition. Um, it did have some marks on the back, but I managed to get most of them all off. I think I'll be able to get the rest of them off. I just don't want to take too much time trying to clean it right now. But... Paying the man, aka. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I want to do like a meetup in Anaheim pretty soon. Um, at like one of the Goodwills or something. I have to like message them and see if they can do anything like that. I've done one in the past and it was super duper fun. And now that like kind of all that stuff is kind of like cooling down a bit, um, we might be able to do something like that again. So um, I will get in contact with them and see if we can do anything like that. Because I think that. It's like, that would be super duper fun. Oh, a movie night. That sounds like so much fun, Angela. But yeah, so this is item number one. This is our away pink away luggage makeup bag. And how much is this one going to be, Vadrian? All right, we're going to do 33, because 33 is my lucky number. So item number one, $33 for our Away Luggage makeup bag. This is in light pink. It's in great shape. And this is, like, the perfect little makeup bag, especially, like, for traveling. And your stuff isn't going to get squished. It's, like, amazing. It has two zippers also. Oh, Norma is calling item number one. Congratulations, Norma. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Norma. All right. There's a little away luggage right there. Fairview and Shore <laughs> Fifth Store Meetup. I love that store. All righty. Sold. Norma. Not anyone. <laughs> That was crazy what happened at the Oscars. Goodness gracious. Okay, 
Item number two for the evening. Let's do... Let's get down to business. Oh, let's do this. Alright. Um, this one is going to be our next item. Alright, this one is a little Amy Kestenberg um, cell phone crossbody bag wallet thing. Um, it's great. It's in this magenta pink color. And then it's clear right here. You stick your phone inside. Um, this will fit an iPhone, like the largest iPhone, the Pro Max, because mine, mine fits in there perfectly. And it even has like the little opening for your thumb if you have um, an older phone that has, or if you have like a different phone that has like the thumb reader, like the fingerprint reader. So it's fantastic. So this is all clear so you can see your phone and um, go at it. Um, it also does have a little zipper pocket that has built-in card slots. And yeah, that's it. And it's super duper cute. It also does have a removable crossbody chain as well. These last days of your videos in my 20s tomorrow. <gasps> oh my gosh, Sophia! Well, happy birthday! Oh, happy early birthday! That's exciting. Oh my gosh. If you're here tomorrow, we're going to sing happy birthday to you. But um, happy birthday. Hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow. Your day, your birthday is right before um, Zach's. His birthday is on Sunday. But yeah, so this is going to be item number two. Our pink Amy Kestenberg. Pink Amy Kestenberg. I think I spelled Kestenberg wrong, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, Pink Amy Kestenberg cell phone bag. And this one's gonna be. Hold on, let me just make sure there's like no flaws or anything in it. There is one little flaw. There's a tiny little nick right there where my thumb is right here. Do you see it in the plastic? But it's just right there in the corner. There's a little thing. But other than that, it's in fantastic condition. Um, and the leather is in really, really great shape. There's no, like, discoloration or marks on the leather at all. And the snap button works perfectly, and the zipper is fantastic, and the inside is nice and clean. So, there you go. So that is going to be item number two, Amy Kestenberg cell phone bag. And that's going to be $45. Item number two. Ah. Oops. Oh, did I put it twice? Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. One more look before we go on to the next item. There's the back. So Amy Kessenberg there has a little snap to open it up. And then you can... Insert your cell phone inside of there. Oh my gosh, everything is pink so far. Does that mean I have to show something else pink? The pressure's on. Also, I'm going to put the little bunny right here. Don't forget, this is our giveaway tonight. The ah! This is not working out for me. Or the bunny. All right. Oh, yay, Sophia. Actually, the live will probably still be happening at, when it when it turns tomorrow, when it's your birthday. So that's very exciting. <gasps> we'll be able to ring in your birthday with you if you're still here. Unless you're, like, in the East Coast, in which case it'll probably be your birthday already. Um, all right. Up next, let's do another wallet. Okay, so I have... Um, this black Tory Burch wallet it has this really cool whip stitch around the perimeter of the wallet. Oh, hi, V. Hey, you guys, V is listing new Squishmallows on Depop if anyone is interested. Let me leave her link um, on Instagram. Actually, let me leave your, let me leave your Depop link. Wait, actually, I'll leave your Instagram link because I don't know your Depop name. And second, because, you know, I got a weird... Ugh. I hate weird throat things. Hi, Linda Lobster. How's it going? 
Um, you know what? I do not know what the brand of the bunny is. It doesn't have any tags or anything. I just saw it at the at the store, and I just thought it was super cute, and it's super soft, and I love them. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I wish I knew what the brand was, but it's, it looks like it's just like a random little bag charm. Oh, perfect. V is going to link her Squishmallows as she goes. Let us know, too, what type they are. Um, but yeah, so V is listing Squishmallows, if anyone is interested, on her Depop. Um, but yeah, here's the wallet again. It's in fantastic condition. It has gold hardware. And then here is the interior. It just has a middle zipper change pocket. And then it has three card pockets on one side. And on the other side, it's kind of like a cell phone pocket. But you can really use it for whatever. Um, but this will fit like an iPhone, or like a regular size iPhone or like the iPhone mini. It won't fit like the Pro Max size though, but it'll fit the regular Pro inside. This is the Bunny V. Do you know what it is? It's so cute. Bunny equals me. <laughs> Brina, I'm manifesting this for you. I'm, you, you gotta win. <laughs> It's Peeps, I think. Oh, is that the brand, V? Um, but yeah, so this is item number... I think we're on item number three. So this is our black Tory Burch three-fourths wallet with wristlet and gold hardware. And how much is this one, Vitorine? This one, 55 all right, that is item number three for the evening, our Tory Burch. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with the wallet. Tory Burch wallet. It does also have the little wristlet, too, and which is removable if you want to take it off. All right. Put that right there. Oh, the pink ones is peeps. Yeah, the pink guy is a peeps. Oh, and Shana might be a say. <gasps> Yay! Oh, you're very welcome, Linda. I found it. I found one to go with it, so I had to include it. Oh, that is so nice of you, Irene. Yes, we will. <laughs> oh, yay, V. That's so nice of you. You guys are the best. Okay. Um, What is up next? Let's do... Oh, you know what? I still have this... <gasps> Hi, Savannah! How's it going? Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys gotta give um, Savannah a follow as well. Savannah, leave your Instagram handle so they can give you a follow. And you guys can go check out her stores as well. She has links in her Instagram. She's literally on every single platform. So you guys gotta go check her out too. Oh, is it to this live, Eclair? Hold on, hold on. Let me... No, I, um, I, I put the wrong link in the beginning. Here's the right link again. I'll put it a couple times so it pops up. There you go. Um, so yeah, click on there. Leave your answer, which is um, Angela's question, what is your birth flower? And at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be announcing the winner for our adorable furry bunny charm. Hi, Patia. How's it going? Okay, so... um. This is our next item. This is going to be item number five. and No, four. Item number four. And this is a lounge fly Woody from Toy Story backpack. I actually have two of these. And yeah, they're in fantastic condition. It's super duper cute. It has like a little Woody's outfit. It has a little um, lounge fly uh, placard thing right here. It's a little sheriff badge. It is adorable. There's a front zipper pocket right there. And then the inside is just a open um, compartment. I don't think there's any zippers or anything. Yeah, there's no zipper compartments or anything inside. And it has adjustable back strap. And yeah, and this is a vegan leather, as I think all lounge flies are. Um, and also, it does have two side pockets as well. And... And that's going to be item number four. Lounge fly woody backpack from Toy Story. How much is this one, Vitrine? All right, this one's going to be $85. Again, we also have two of these if anyone's interested. 
Uh, such a cute backpack. And those are, like, collectible, I think. Um, how much does those normally, like, resale for, Badrian? Do you remember? Like, a hundred something? Yeah. They resell for, like, a hundred something normally. Or more. Um, okay. Item number five is up next. And... Let's do... Oh, you know what? Oh, this is kind of cool. Hold on. Let me see if I can take this thing off so you can see the name of the perfume. I have um a cool, like, vintage perfume. I know, like, a lot of people like to collect vintage perfumes. And this one smells really nice. And I was going to get it just to, like, spray around the house because I thought it smelled nice. <laughs> but if anyone is interested, it is um pretty cool. And this is um, a Christian Dior. This is the Diorissimo U de Toilette. Right, V? It's such a cute backpack. And this smells so good, you guys. And it's still, like, almost full. It's only been sprayed a couple times. But this perfume is so nice. Ugh. It smells like a field of flowers. Amazing. It smells really, really good. It's going to make my dad sneeze. <laughs> we'll spray it around the house when he's not home if no one buys it. But it's, yeah. Um, it's 1.7 fluid ounces, but it's a little bit less since there is a little bit that is gone. But it's not very much that is missing. Um, but yeah, it's, the bottle is in great shape too. And yeah, this is going to be item number five. This is our Diorissimo um, Christian Dior perfume. And how much do you want to do this one for, Vitrine? Okay, we're going to do this one for 50 if anyone's interested in our vintage Dior perfume. Right there. Alright, let's go to number six. Oh, you know what? This is really cool. Um, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, how does one wear this? But this is a amazing belt. Um, a chain belt by... Hold on. I forgot what it was called. Uh, the brand is called... Um, Carol Lee. It's C-A-R-O-L-E-E. -E. And I guess she makes, like some really fun fancy belts and jewelry and her belts are pretty expensive and these feel so nice like the chain is so substantial it is amazing oh hi Chantal how's it going <laughs> right V that's why like I put them all in a row it's so cute I want to do like a lot I say over like everything is pink can you imagine but um, yeah, Chantal. Okay, you guys got to give um, Chantal a follow as well. She's another fellow reseller friend of mine. And she's in Canada. So if anyone's um, in Canada, but she does uh, ship out internationally as well. She's on Poshmark and Depop and eBay as well, I believe. So go give her a follow. Her Instagram is right there, my daily thrifting. Casual eye pulse fashion. <gasps> oh, you know, I'll keep an eye out. I always see a lot of like perfumes. I don't really know too much about perfumes. So unless it's like some sort of like designer brand name that I know. Like, I'm just like... But yes, I will keep a lookout for that. Uh, but yeah, the belt, like, it kind of, like, goes like this. And I don't even, like, you know, like, it has, like, it hangs down like that. There is, like, um... I think there's one missing from, like, right here, like, one bead. But you could probably just, like, move a bead down from, like, somewhere else. And it won't be noticeable, like, from an end piece or something. But it's just such a beautiful belt. And it kind of just hooks right here on the end. You can hook it to just, like, one of these pieces. And then I'll hang like that. So, super fun. Number six, gold Caroly um, belt with pearl details missing 
one pearl. And this one, how much are we going to do this one for, V-Dream? Okay, we're going to do this one for $75. If anyone's interested in our belt this evening. It's so cool. It looks kind of like a Chanel belt. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, is that a Chanel belt? And then I was like, oh, no, the brand is Carolee. And Carolee, like, I guess has been designing belts for, like, a while. So, but look how cute that is. Like, just imagine. Ugh. Oh, that's cool, Tanya. I usually just throw mine out. <laughs> Let's put this over here. This would actually make a really cool bag strap. I wonder if I could just turn it into... You know, I could turn this into a bag strap. <gasps> that would be fabulous for the pearls. I'm having thoughts. All right. So that is item number six. Let's go to seven. Mmm. Okay. These are so fabulous. And I am really, really excited for these. Okay, so these are... Hold on. What's the right side? Okay. Are you guys ready for this? This is... Or these are... Prada Boots. They are amazing black leather Prada boots. They have um, they say Prada right here at the top, and then the little buckles are so cute too. They match the same color hardware, uh, that brass hardware as the Prada up top. They're in pretty good condition. Look at that, they're gorgeous, um, and they also have like a little zipper on the sides right here say Prada. These open up so that you can kind of like get your foot into there. And these are a size 36. And they also do have a little heel. It's about um, about an inch, inch and a half heel. But they are beyond. The leather on these is so, so, so soft. And I wish I could wear these. My mom wishes she could wear these. Everyone wishes they could wear these. <laughs> but they're size 36. So, like, my sister can, like, can fit her feet in there. But, um, yeah. She's not really a boot girl, like, this high. So she's just like, nah. But these are so beautiful. Right? Could you imagine these with, like, some, like, black tights or, like, jeans or something? Like, skinny jeans with tucked in. They're just beautiful. Okay, so these are number seven black Prada boots, size 36. And how much are these going to be, Vadrian? All right, we're going to do two, no, we're going to do 25. 225. That is item number seven. 225. These are size 36. So they will fit a size six. My sister is a size six and a half, and that she can fit her feet into here. And um, but yeah, they're beautiful. <sighs> Gorgeous. I should ask my sister to model these, or like take some photos of her like wearing them because they are so stinking cute. Like these boots are literally everything. They're so good. I'm just gonna put those guys right over there. All right, let's go to number eight. Oh, Norma is calling item number seven. Wow. There it is. Congratulations, Norma. You are going to love those boots. They are phenomenal. They're so fantastic. All right, we're on item number eight now. Let's continue on. Oh my gosh, let's do this. This one is so fun too. All right, up next I have the cutest Kate Spade wallet. And it has a ladybug. It's pink, has a little ladybug on there. It's so cute. Um... I think it also is supposed to be kind of like a face, but it's like, you know, 
either way, but it's so fun. Uh, inside, it has six card slots, and then it has a pocket right up, oh, right up top for a cash, and it has a little change pocket right here, which is nice and clean. And there is one exterior pocket in the back, and this snaps in the front like that. So there's the back of it. Super cute. And there's the inside again. And it's a light pink. And then it says Kate Spade, New York, right there on the back. And then the ladybug right there on the front. And this is going to be item number eight. Light pink Kate Spade ladybug wallet. Okay. And we're going to do this one for 55 and this wallet's in pretty great shape. That's item number eight. Ooh, we're gonna add it to the pink section. Super fun, all right. We're gonna go on to item number nine next. All right, let's do... Oh, you know what? I still have those black pink glasses. Not that, well, Jenny from black pink glasses. So I still have two pairs of them. Um, they're in brand new condition. They come with the sunglass cases, which are these that actually turn into bags as well. And they come with um, the crossbody straps right inside. But I have these clear glasses right here, which are so cute. I'm actually surprised that they actually, like, fit me and I don't hate them. I always, like, feel like they look, like, they look, like, kind of small. Stop it, V. <laughs> but these glasses are so cute. I think you can get actually get them turned into, like, regular glasses as well. As well. But these do have, like, UV protection and all that. But they're just clear. And they are really, really cute. So, and these are the uh, the limited edition ones that are even more limited than like the regular um, release of these because these have these uh, special little like side details. And I know like the lots of these uh, sunglasses were re-released without them. So that is item number nine. It's our clear. Um, I'm gonna just say black pink. Black pink slash gentle monster collab glasses and these are how much Vadrian? how much 175 whoopsies that was number nine and then number 10 is going to be the other pair um that i have here uh, that i have right here and Oh, wait, I have another pair, don't I? <gasps> I lied, I have three pairs. Uh, oh, who's calling item number five? Oh, Liliana is calling item number five, our perfume. Yay! Woo! Congratulations, Liliana. Congratulations. That perfume smells so nice. You are going to love it. Okay. So number 10 is going to be our Gentle Monster um, Black Pink collab glasses. But these are the um, the metal frame pair. And again, they have like the special, these are the special edition sides. And these are so cute too. They're just like, these are like science professor glasses. I feel like the other ones are kind of like English professor. And these are more like science professor and I'm thinking maybe like, I feel like my biochem teacher would have worn these or something. Or like my organic chemistry teacher, I feel like definitely had these. So something like that, you know. Or if we were like in Harry Potter, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, so these are number 10. These are the black, pink, um, gentle, monster, metal, fl metal frame glasses. And how much are these, Vadrian? One thirty-five. 
175, sorry guys, 175. And that is item numero 10. But look at that. You're like a little science teacher. And these are so like nice. Like, ugh. I feel like I would just get these turned into like regular glasses because I think like, I actually like them. Normally I like really big glasses, but these are really nice. And then the last pair of the Gentle Monster collab. Um, oh, Cindy, were you calling an item? I'm sorry. I didn't, um, I don't think you put a number. The, this last pair is like the funnest, the most fun. I remember I was in my AP English class and I was like talking randomly about something and I said it was like the funnest. And then my teacher was like, Adrian, that's not a word. And I was like, it should be. <laughs> uh, but these are the last pair and um, that I have. And these are super cool. They are jeweled and fantastic. And these are going to be item number 11. Should I just wear these the rest of the night? These are the black, pink, gentle, monster, jeweled sunglasses. Oh, Laura, I'm glad. Oh, John's here. He came back from walking the dogs. Hi, John. Okay, um, how much were these, Vadrian? Okay, these ones are 200. Ah, uh, Jana, Lisa, and T. Hello in Huntington Beach. You know, you guys have really good thrift stores over there. I go there almost every weekend. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so that's item number 11. But look at that. They are so shiny, shimmery, and fantastic. Imagine, okay... Judy, <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's crazy, though. I feel like they don't, they still don't fit me. Like, right here. Like, like these do for some odd reason. And I don't know if it's because, I don't know. Because Blackpink is amazing. It just thinks of everything. But, like, can you imagine, like, these sunglasses with this bag? Let's just, like, let's, like, live the fantasy of like this bag with these glasses. It's just like, can you imagine? Ah. Oh no, it's okay, Cindy. I love that you literally have it ready. That's amazing. I love it. So this is gonna be our next item since it goes with the sunglasses. This is gonna be item number 11. And these, this is our off white jeweled um, binder clip bag. <laughs> right um let's see I think I can find it can I find it um no that's not it uh okay and this one that's the look right Sonia <laughs> and this is gonna be um I had it at 500, but let's do 450 for the off white bag if anyone is interested. That is item number 11. All right. Okay, let me take these off. Actually, it kind of was nice having them on. This the lights are always blinding me. I feel like I can't see anymore by the end of the live. All right. So here's a look at the bag again. It is so cute. You can actually take off the top strap and then bring this up there. Um, or just leave it like this, wear a crossbody. And then you can also wear it as a belt bag or as like a body bag. And then you can wear it like across your chest like that. And it's fabulous. And these are Swarovski crystals as well. So that's why they're so shiny and amazing. Look at that. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Oh my gosh, I was um on TikTok earlier, and there's like this like band. I forgot what their the band name was called, but they do like fun like rock or like whatever versions of Disney songs, and it was amazing. So good. 
All right, on to the next. We're on item number 12 now. Um, uh, the number 12 is going to be, this is a vintage coach bag. And yes, it's made in USA. And this is in like an off-white color. I don't know if this was originally um, a color called chalk. And it's just like kind of like changed color over time. But um, the leather is amazing. Vintage coach. It does have these cool straps too. So you, it has like a little buckle. So you can change the length of them. And then it does zip across the top. And the interior just has one interior um, pocket. And there's like a little creed right there. I don't know if it's showing up properly. You can also remove the straps and then just use this as a clutch as well. So I think that's a fantastic thing to have to be able to carry the bag as a clutch or as a crossbody. And then it does also still have the original little tag on there as well. The bag does have some slight discoloration throughout. Um, I haven't tried cleaning it yet. I wonder if it'll come clean. I know like Tanya is like the master at cleaning these bags. And I definitely need to try dunking these bags one day, Tanya. But I don't know what it is. And I'm just like scared of it. Just like a little baby. And I feel like it shouldn't be too scary. Not me trying to clean the bag. <laughs> Alright, anyway. That is going to be item number 12. Our vintage white coach crossbody bag made in USA. And how much is this one, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do 55 for that guy. That is item number 12. I'm kind of getting shiny. That's better. Okay, 13. Uh, okay, up next, I have... Ooh, okay, I have this Patricia Nash bag. And this one is like a hobo shoulder bag. Beautiful, like, vintage style, worn in leather. So cool. It does have um, D-rings on the sides um, for a crossbody strap. Unfortunately, it doesn't have one. Right, Tanya? But you're, you're so brave and you're so good at it. <laughs> I feel like if I do it, it'll just like melt or disintegrate in the water. <laughs> I know it's like an irrational fear. Uh, which is crazy because I've done so many things to bags that like people think that I'm crazy for. But like, I don't know. Just like... Fully submerging a bag in water is just like... <gasps> uh, there is a, a back pocket right here. It has a little magnetic snap right there in the back. And then in the main compartment of the bag, it does have like a little pen mark right there. Can you see that in the inside? Um, but the bag in the interior is in pretty good shape. There's also a couple little pen marks in the lining at the very bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but they're they're very small. And then there's two open pockets and then a zipper pocket right there. But yeah, that is gonna be item number 13. Oops. And that is our Patricia Nash aged, um, what color would you say that is? Tan leather um, hobo bag. And this one's going to be $40. And that is item number 13. Lucky number 13. All right. Up next is number 14. And let's do... Oh, I forgot that I have these shoes. Okay, up next, these are pretty cool. Let me just get this little taggy tag off of it. Ah! 
this always stresses me out when they put like this tags on the leather and I always feel like the leather is just gonna peel right off ever since that happened once. And I've just been super paranoid about it. So. Never a way to remove the tags when you buy something on, or actually like ask them if you can remove it before you buy it. Because um, one time too, I was in a store and I was buying this amazing pair of shoes. What were they? I forgot what brand they were. They were either Prada or like Gucci or Dior, or like something like that. And in the inside of the shoe, on uh, like the inside of the shoe was leather. And then they had like one of those sticker tag sensor things on there. And they like rip it off before, like after or when you're buying the shoe. And when she ripped it off, like all the leather came off with it. And I was just like, <gasps> and she was like, <gasps> so it was like very unfortunate <laughs> and very stressful. But yeah, I didn't end up getting those shoes. But um, always check to make sure when you're at the store. Always check. <laughs> all right, up next are these Kate Spade sandals. They are beautiful. I think they're so gorgeous. These are a size 10. So uh, I know you guys are always asking me to look for larger sizes. And I finally found a pair. Size 10 um, Kate Spade flip-flops. And they're in a ballerina pink. And they're in fantastic shape too. Very little wear. The bottoms also don't have too much wear either. And the... Strap pieces are leather, and then the, it has, like, gold aglets, and then there's little um, Kate Spade charms on there as well. So they're super duper cute. And this is, like, a like a beige and a white, and then it's a ballerina pink. And these are size 10. So this is going to be item number 14, our Kate Spade... Um, flip-flops with gold hardware and these are gonna be what do you say Vitrine? these are gonna be thir I'm sorry what oh, 35 sorry guys <laughs> can't hear tonight okay this one's $35 that is item number 14 All right, we are on to 15 now. Oh, also, you guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway again. Our question is right here from Angela. What is your birth flower? And let me leave the link, uh, shareable link, right there in the live chat. Oh, Brina is calling... Oh, Brina, someone already purchased number one. I'm sorry. Someone bought it earlier, but yes, 14 is definitely yours. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> All righty. Where's my water? Okay, 15. Oh, I left, yeah, I left that link right there. So if, if anyone hasn't entered the, uh, the giveaway, go to that link right there. Um, up next, I want to show these shoes, but I want to clean them first to make sure I can clean them. Anyway, I'll show you guys these tomorrow once I clean them. But these sandals are fantastic, these coach sandals. They are super Y2K. They are so now. Look at these colors. They're beautiful. Uh, yes, Brina, it was the pink makeup box from away. And yeah, I mean, Norma did call number one already. I'm sorry, Brina. All right, up next. Oh, someone wanted to see number eight. Oh, yes, Linda, of course. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> okay, so there's the ladybug wallet to Kate Spade. Super cute. There's the back. This is a little pocket right there. And then here is the interior of the wallet. It's in like a light pink. It has six card slots. There's the cash pocket right there. 
And then we have a zippered change pocket right there. But yeah, our little ladybug wallet, super duper cute. With all of our pink things. Okay, um, oh, number 15 is what we had next, right? Okay. So up next, I have this super duper cute Henry Bendel tote bag. And it is in like a clear PVC and then it has like this. No, I wasn't going to show them yet because they are still dirty. And I wanted to clean them. It's because I wanted to make sure I could clean them. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the, the, the coat shoes tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to show you guys like quickly, like a, a brief glimpse of them because they're so fun and I couldn't help it. But this, um, Henry Bendel tote is up next. It's super fun. It's a great beach bag, great spring and summer bag. Uh, it does have a little bit of wear on the, um, plastic, but nothing like very noticeable. And yeah, it's super fun. And it has, um, what kind of leather? It's Safiano leather handles and trim. Um, but yeah. So this is going to be item number 15. Put this guy like up there. And that is our um, clear PVC Henry Bendel tote bag. And what was it, Vadrian? All right, this is going to be $30. Number 15, if anyone's interested. Okay. All right, next one is 16. Oh, I still do have um, this Rebecca Minkoff backpack. Oh, Linda's calling item number eight. Yay! Congratulations, Linda. Yay. So make sure to write that one down. Okay. 16 is, um, I've shown you guys this one like last week, but it's the black quilted Rebecca Minkoff backpack. This one is still available. It has a black on black hardware. It has two front zipper pockets. And then we have a turn lock top flap. And this, um, it also has a drawstring. And the interior just has one pocket right there. And it has the butterfly lining inside. And then we have the chain and then leather back strap. But it's super cute. I love the quilting. It's super fun. And this is like a medium-sized backpack. And that is going to be item number 16. Our black quilted Rebecca Minkoff backpack with black hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? My little fingers are like typing up a storm. No, it's the backpack, not the triple zip bag. How much? Oh, it's one fifty. Let's do like one thirty five though. We'll do a discount. All right, one thirty five. Item number sixteen for the Rebecca Minkoff quilted backpack. Seventeen. I have this little fun number right here. It's a natural fiber bag. And it's pink. It has this cool, like, starburst design on it. And it also has this fun pink acrylic bamboo handle. We open it up. And then the interior looks like this. Super duper fun. The brand is called Folk Fortune. And these are hand-woven in Bali. Fancy. Okay, this is going to be item number 17. How much is this one, Adrian? All right. Pink natural fiber round bag with 
acrylic pink handle. And this one's going to be $25. That is item number 17. And the, le the these pieces are actually leather too. So they're not like a, a vegan leather or anything. They're actually leather. Which is nice. I like that. We'll put it with the other pink bags on that side. All right. Number 18 is up next. Um, oh, I still also do have this Balenciaga bag, if anyone's interested. This is the Balenciaga, like the mini shopper. I always forget the name, but it is beautiful. Um, it's kind of very similar in shape and style to the Sully Nano. It does also have a removable crossbody strap, and this is Balenciaga right there. There's the back and the bottom. There is a little bit of like very slight discoloration on the corners just from rubbing with a little bit of lightness. And then the interior just has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket on the inside. And it just has black lining. But that is item number 18. Our brown Balenciaga mini Shopper satchel, and this one is seven fifty, and that is item number eighteen. Hi, Anita. Thank you for joining us tonight. How's it going? Oh, okay. I forgot about this. I always forget about this bag. I still also do have the Chanel bag, so it comes with the dust bag. Here it is. She's gorgeous. It's that. Chanel, um, it's a tricolor flat bag. So it's black and then it's cream and then it's kind of like an off white on like around the edges. And these are the actual colors of the bag. It hasn't been like redone or anything. These are actually the colors that it's supposed to come in. Um, and it also does have silver hardware. This bag is so classy. Like I love it. I love that you can tuck in the straps and then it can be like a little top handle like this with like this little leather shoulder piece, which I think is really nice. Or you can pull out the strap and then you can use it as a shoulder bag or you can extend it fully and then it's a cross body. So you can carry it multiple different ways. This bag is so beautiful. It's it's lambskin. The inside looks like this. Um, it has a middle zipper pocket and then it just has a open back pocket right there. And yeah, she is so beautiful. We love her. And you can also just like tuck the chain inside like this as well. So that way you don't have like anything popping out at the top. And then now you just have like a little clutch that doesn't have like any straps popping out. And she, so you can wear this bag so many different ways. Definitely goes from day to night. You can wear this casually with like a white shirt and jeans. And then you can wear it out at night with like a cocktail dress or whatever as a clutch or as a little shoulder bag. So. Lots of things you can do with this. I feel like it's super versatile. And just like all the different colors in it, I think, just makes the bag pop a lot as well. So that's going to be item number 19. This is our tri-color Chanel flap bag lamb skin with silver hardware. And how much is this, Phaedron? Yeah? Okay, 2750 is number 19 and this does also come with a dust bag all righty and then up next oh you know what um i don't know if there are any fans of like vintage sunglasses out there but I do have this uh, pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. These are so cute. They're really like, I feel like the Janis Joplin wears sunglasses like this. I feel like they're so cool. They're def These are definitely too small for me. I look like Dr. Octavius or something from Spider-Man or like um, that mole guy. Like that was like a super villain too. But these sunglasses are super cool. 
um, if like you didn't have like a giant head that didn't actually fit them properly. But um, these are like those vintage uh, Ray-Bans that like everything is like made of like metal and it just feels really substantial. <clears throat> and they're just really cool. So they have gray lenses and then the arms um, are metal but then they're covered in like that clear plastic or whatever. And the lenses are actually in pretty good shape. Actually, let me like clean them off. I just want to make sure there aren't like any significant scratches. I just have my fingerprints all over them. Do do do. Oh, it's almost midnight. All right. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, these are in like really great vintage condition. Because they, they really don't have any marks on the on the lenses. And the lenses are like super thick too. You like you know like the newer glasses, like they try they, they're like super duper like lightweight and even the lenses are like really thin. These are like super thick. You can definitely feel like all of the craftsmanship that were put into these. I feel like older sunglasses just like are so amazing. I think I've told you guys a story about how my dad used to have these like vintage aviators from like back in the day. And my sister and I were like obsessed with them. And we would like kind of like fight over who got to wear them when. And I don't know what happened to those glasses because we somehow lost them. And it's like literally like one of the saddest things ever. Like I'm just hoping to like one day just like find it somewhere randomly. But we lost it like a long, we lost that pair of sunglasses a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, Linda, yeah. You can definitely just like fold it. They can fold it like this. So you can definitely fold it and it'll be stored away really nicely. But yeah, the lenses are actually in pretty good shape. They just have very small like little marks right there, but they're not in your line of vision when you're wearing them. Yeah, they're definitely too small for me. <laughs> Alright, these are going to be item number 20. Uh, vintage Ray-Ban oval shaped glasses. Silver, metal, and gray lenses. And these are just going to be $45 if anyone's interested in our vintage Ray-Ban this evening. They even still have, I believe these are still the original nose pieces as well, which is really cool. Oh, Linda's calling item number 15. Where's my applause? Yeah! Woo! Congratulations! Um, Lisa, yes, it's sold already. I'm so sorry. That one's, that one's sold already. Um, Okay. Anita, I don't remember which ones. I, I have, like, two more of the exact same um, vase. And then I think I have a red one with a white flower. And then it has, like, yellow in the middle. And then I think I have a blue one with a white flower. But I just have to make sure I still have them or that I can find them. Because I know I put them somewhere. And I don't remember where they are. <laughs> but... Um, I will look for them after the live and let you know tomorrow if I find them. But I am on the lookout. Um, all right. What do we have up next? Okay. Up next, I have, this is a black Rebecca Minkoff clutch. Black pebbled leather, um, silver hardware, has like the little tassels. This is actually a working pocket right there. And it has a magnetic snap um, top. And then the inside, the first pocket has three built-in card pockets. And then the back only has one open pocket. And this did have a crossbody strap. Unfortunately, it's missing. But you can easily just like string um, like a strap onto here or connect the straps to the little leather pieces on the sides, and then you can wear a crossbody, but um, we are just selling this as is, as a clutch like this, 
And oh, it also does have a back pocket as well with a magnetic flap. The oil slick one, no? <laughs> Vadrian, you're not paying attention. All right, 21. <laughs> This is a black Rebecca Minkoff uh, clutch with silver hardware, missing long strap, and this one is going to be $50, and that is item number 21. Sh what number should we go to tonight? Let's see. Or I'm definitely going to go until midnight, but I want to like end at a round number, so we'll see. All right, 22 is up next. Again, here's the clutch before we end or go to the next number. So cute. All right, up next I have um I have these Valentino flats right here. And they are jeweled and amazing. There's the bottoms. Um, it's like a black uh, satin. And then they have like jewels. Like all over them. And I don't think they're missing any jewels. Like, the shoes are actually in pretty great shape. And these are a size 37 and a half. So they're like a 7 and a half. So these are going to be item of 21. Oh, let me get the dimensions for you really quick, Linda. Um, let me just put the black valentino. Black valentino um, satin jeweled flat size 37.5. And these are going to be $75. And let me get you those dimensions for the Rebecca Minkoff clutch. All right, the length of the clutch is 9, and then the height is 6.5. So it's 9 length by 6.5. Height. Is that those are the dimensions for the clutch that I typed out for you, Linda? All right, up next, um, I also still do have this Gucci crossbody bag in this beautiful orange color. It has it's the bamboo bag, so it has this cool bamboo detail across the top flap and on the hardware and the tassels. The tassels are epic. They are amazing. These are the best tassels I've ever seen. Um, it has the crossbody strap, which is adjustable. And then the inside is also lined in leather. It's in this tan color. And then we have a zipper pocket and then an open pocket right there that has a little snap closure. And... This is the bag. The bag is in fantastic condition. It's like new. Um, this is going to be 23. Our orange Gucci bamboo tassel crossbody bag. And how much is this one, Adrian? All right, this one's going to be 350. If anyone's interested in this guy, number 23. Here's another look before we go on to our next item. So cute. That tassel is everything. The movement. Ah, so fun. All right, 24. Oh, whoops, where'd I go? Oh, there I am. Okay, 24 is next.
Alright, up next, I have this amazing tote bag. And this is by Bakier. And it's in this really beautiful light, light gray leather. It's super duper soft. And the handles are in like a cream color. And then we have like a gunmetal colored hardware on the ends of the straps. It does have a little bit of wear, um, especially like on the corners and stuff. There's a little bit of like discoloration. But the bag is so beautiful. The color is so pretty. There's also a little side pocket right here. And this pocket is actually in pretty big. It's right there on the side. It's also lined in suede. And then the interior of the bag is all in suede as well. And it has a pocket right there. And then two card pockets. And this is um, Bakier. And the inside of the bag is all in suede as well. And then this is just like the body of the zipper pocket that's right in there so there we go number 24 this is our Bakier gray tote bag and this one's gonna be $40 That's 24 and 25. Okay, this one is very cute. Okay. This one is. Oh, do I have a strap that can go with this? Does this have to go with it? Oh, uh, no, it's too short or too small. Just kidding. Okay, this one um, unfortunately does not come with the crossbody strap but you can easily attach one to it because it is a black bag and black straps are easier to come by you, you might even just have one for another bag that you can put on here but this is the Dooney and Burke black Florentine satchel beautiful it's in really really great shape we have the brass hardware top handles with like the whip stitch detail. We have the little tassels on either side. There's the bottom. It does have little feet on there. And the top fold up opens. And there's the interior. It's a nice bright red. The very top is in this green suede. There's a zipper pocket. Um, two, three open pockets, and then a key fob in there. And the interior is in pretty good shape. Um, there is a little bit of wear, I think. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of wear, nothing like major. Um, just a little bit of like darkening at the bottom right there in the corners. But no like major marks or anything like that on the inside. But that is number 25, our black Dooney and Burke Florentine Satchel. And this one we're going to ask 100 for, and that is number 25. Alright, here's another look before we go on to our next item. Florentine satchel. All the corners are in really good shape too on the exterior. Like it's like in fantastic shape. Okay. Uh 26 is up next. Um, all right, up next I have, this is, um, an Edie Parker sunglass case. It is so cute. It's in this beautiful cobalt blue color, um, and it says feminist on it. And it has gold hardware. 
And the interior has like this really fun print. And then it just says Edie Parker made in Italy with that like, one that one little pocket. It's like perfect for like, okay, like where are the sunglasses? You know, like you throw your sunglasses in here. And then you can put like your cleaning towel inside of there or just a couple lens wipes and zip it up. It's like fantastic. I should keep this. <laughs> it's really nice. But the color is beautiful. It's like this bright cobalt blue. This is our cobalt blue. And it's also leather. Cobalt blue, um, leather, Edie Parker sunglass case. And how much is this one going to be, Adrian? And this, this one's going to be $40. That is number 26. So cute. Here's another look at it. Oh, yeah, Angela. That totally works, too. A mini contact, uh, contact case. It's really pretty. Edie Parker, but have you guys ever seen, like, Edie Parker bags? They're super fun. She usually does, like, more, like, evening-style bags or, like, more formal-style bags. And they are gorgeous. And they're, like, really pricey. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I still also do have this fair, uh, this Ferragamo bag, Salvatore Ferragamo, in this beautiful white color. And this is my favorite detail: is that it has like the little clips right here. You open this up, and then this is a pocket, so you can actually put stuff in the sides. Really cool. The interior of the bag is also in suede. And there's a zipper pocket in there, and then two open pockets on the other side. The interior does have a little bit of darkening, but um, the bag is in such great shape. And I've restored the exterior color. So it's beautiful. Purse Curator is calling 24 and 25. That is our Bakier Grey Tote and the Dooney and Burke Florentine Satchel. Yeah! Woo! Congratulations, Purse Curator. Yay! Congratulations. You are going to love those bags. They are beautiful. Mark in these. Oh, and the Ferragamo number 27. White Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Fair, uh, I guess it's Ferragamo. Ferragamo tote bag. And that is 150 Actually, let's do one, 140 135 135 Um, That is $27. All right, 28 Oh, are we going to make it to 30 Oh, my gosh. Very exciting. All right, 28 is going to be... Mm. Oh, I still do also have the Hermes wallet right here. This is in a orange-red color with an orange um, little strap right there. There is a back zipper pocket. And this lined leather, it's in great shape. And the interior of the wallet looks like this. It does have some creasing right there from the card slots, um, but there are looks like eight card slots in there, and it has two like larger cash compartments, and then there's the embossed Hermes Paris made in Italy, and the blind stamp is right there in the wallet. So this one's gonna be number twenty-eight. Oh, and the only like visible notice like super noticeable sign of wear is that there is a little bit of darkening right there on the orange tab but other than that like the wall is in such beautiful condition um this is 28 our hermes red orange dogon wallet and this one was how much Vadrian? this one was 400 hi mila How's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome to the live sale. 
Alright, we have one more look before we go on to our next item. There's our Hermes wallet. Oh, I also still do have um, this Longchamp large. This is the travel um, tote. It is missing the crossbody strap. Um, it's not going to come with this one, though. I just attached it because I think it's really cute. But you can, like, attach, like, a fun strap to it if you want. This is a Fendi one that I have. But, like, look how fun that is. It's, like, Barbie. It's, like, super fun. The colors are, like, bright. And I don't know. It's so it's super vibrant. Um, but, yeah. And it just it already has someone's initials on it. Uh, LMC. It stands for Love My Chanel bags or something like that I don't know but that is gonna be number 29 our long ooh, nong chomp pink travel totes and then LMC no long strap and how much was some vitamin One twenty-five, and I believe this bag retails um, for like five hundred. But this one is in like brand new condition. But that is twenty-nine. Super fun. All right, last item of the night. It's gonna be item number thirty, and it's gonna be. It's gonna be me. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Um, we have this M.Z. Wallace little satchel bag. It's in black nylon. Um, this isn't the original strap that, like, comes with it, but I attached it because I thought, like, it looked kind of fun going with it. Uh, it's, like, fabric, and then it also has, like, a patented green. And I just thought it was, like, kind of cool. Uh, kind of matches. It has two zipper pockets on one side. And then another zipper pocket, a larger one on the back. It does zip all the way across the top. And then the interior just looks like this. It has a zipper pocket and then three open pockets on the inside. The fabric does have a little bit of darkening, especially just like right here around the top portion. Um, it could possibly cleaned further, but like, you know, it's like not like really even noticeable. Like I pretty much cleaned it. We can still kind of see it just a little bit. Um... And also just a little bit on the other side, too. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, and, yeah. The straps also is... Or the straps are long enough, too, to carry on your shoulder really nicely as well. Which is fantastic. I love when you can carry, like, a bag on your shoulder as well as a crossbody. And it's going to be item number 30. Our black MZ Wallace um, nylon satchel with gold hardware and this one's gonna be 55 if anyone's interested in that guy and that is gonna be item number 30 our last item for the evening number 21 mine i need the strap on the end of the last <laughs> all right you want it so oh you want the you want this strap to go on the long jump I guess we can do that. Why not? Since no one's getting, if no one's getting the, wait, is that what you wanted, right? I'm like, not like getting confused. I need this job within the last to go with it. Let me put the MZ Wallace strap on there so you can see how it looks. Do. Oh, that's so fun! Hi, Anton. Hi, oh, from Fanta. <laughs> Hi, Mela. Or is it Mela or Mila? Hello. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna lower the price of thirty-one or of thirty. For the um, 
MZ Wallace. But yes, we will include the strap on there for you. Super cute. Here it is on the front. Yay! All right. Congratulations, purse curator. Yay! Gavel action right there for you. Um, and we're going to do the MZ Wallace. We're going to do that one for 40... 45 or 40? 40. 40. Let's just do 40. We're going to do 40 for the MZ Wallace. It's for removing the strap on there. Unless I find another one. I might have another strap up. All right. So that's number 30. Yeah. It's okay. All right, well, that is going to be the end of the sale, but don't leave yet because we're going to be announcing the winner. Amela. Aww. Hi, Amela. Thank you for joining us tonight. Perfect, Pierce Curator. I'm glad you like it. All right, we're going to send that over with a strap then. Very excited. Uh, let me just make sure to write that sold. And I'm going to include this chap. So I'm going to, with strap, 125, purse curator. Alright, now, let me leave the link one more time for you guys. So tonight's giveaway question is, what is your birth flower? Um, thank you again to Angela for providing tonight's question. Oh, of course, Eli. Um, there is that link again, though, so you guys can enter really quickly if you haven't done so already. And here is the Ferragamo. It's so cute. It has, like, this cool, like, buckle detail right here. It has, like, the Ferragamo logo. And then you pop that open, and then this is actually a zipper pocket. So it's super duper cool. So both sides actually open up, and you can put stuff inside. And then the interior is in this suede, and then there's a zipper pocket in the back right there, and then two open pockets on the other side. And this zips all the way across the top. And it's just like a little top handle, shoulder bag, and this will fit on your shoulder. And the exterior leather is in like really great shape and it has little feet on the bottom as well. <laughs> you guys love the bunny. You guys are so funny. I don't think you guys were going to love the bunny as much as I did, but I'm glad that you guys do. All righty. Um, well, if anyone, or if you guys don't have any more questions about anything, or if you do, um, you can ask me at the end of the live or just send me a DM or an email um, with any questions. Um, and we should have all your invoices sent out within 15 minutes after we end the live. Um, and if for some reason you don't receive your invoice, just send me an email. I think we should have everyone's info, I think, Vidrian, do we? Um, whose info do we need to make sure? Uh, actually, let me just look at my emails really quick, just in case. Um, I think Liliana, I think we need yours. And what else, Vidrian? And Linda Lobster, can you send me your info as well, please? Um, just send me an email. My email is right there. Um, let me just make sure they have an email already. Let me just check. But yeah, um, Linda Lobster and Liliana, if you guys could send me your email, um, either through DM or you can send me an email. Yeah, I don't see any. Um, okay, perfect. Oh, perfect, Brina. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me get my stuff ready. Okay. Oh, there goes my strap. Oh, Liliana is calling item number 20. And that was the Vintage Ray-Bans. Yay, congratulations, Liliana. Yay! Oh yeah, Liliana, if you can send me um, an email with your email address, we can send you um, the invoice. Because I don't think we have your info yet. But let me mark this sold.
All right. Now we are ready for the giveaway. Let me get my little buddy too. Okay. Let me. All right, you guys are now live in the vlog. Everyone say hi, but we are now going to be announcing um, tonight's giveaway winner for the super cute little Easter bunny bag charm. It's so cute and super duper soft. And um, yes, I'm <laughs> very excited. Let me post our, paste the link right here in our YouTube comment picker. All right. And um, this is a regular video, too, so there might be regular comments on there. So if it's a regular comment that's not pertaining to tonight's giveaway question, we're going to go on to another person. Um, but yes, okay. So let's pick a winner in three, two, one. Jean! Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Jean. My birth flower is an orchid. Oh, congratulations, Jean. But um, I, everyone, thank you so much for being here tonight at the live sale. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And um, Jean, I don't know if you're still in here or if you fell asleep, but we will message you um, that you won. So congratulations. And what else is I going to tell you guys? I think that's it. Um, hope you guys have a great Saturday. Uh, tune in tomorrow night at midnight or midnight at 10 p.m. for another late night live sale. Again, um, happy birthday. Oh, whose birthday was it again today? Um, it was... Whose was it? I can't remember your name. Uh... Was it Olga? No. Olga? Does, does anyone remember whose birthday it is? Rosa. No. Okay, whose ever birthday it was, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, my brain is no longer working. Um, but a very, very happy birthday again. Hope you have a fantastic day. Um, and yeah, good night, everyone. Um, again, we should send out your, we should have your invoices sent out within the next 15 minutes. And Liliana, and um, who was it, Vadrian? And Linda Lobster, if you guys can send me. Um, <laughs> All right, Brita, I'll let her know. <laughs> oh, Sophia. Yeah, Sophia. Happy birthday. Thank you, Norma. Oh, and um, you wanted to see number 23, Shelby. Hold on. I'll grab it right now. That was the orange Gucci. Yes. Okay. Where'd it go? Ah, here it is. Here is the orange Gucci. So, so cute. It has this super fun tassel detail and the bamboo detail across the top and the tassels and right here on the front here's the interior it's in tan leather there's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket that has a snap closure right there and it's crossbody um, the strap is also um, slightly adjustable you can make it um, shorter as well and all of like the um the gucci made in italy and the serial number are all inside of there inside the zipper pocket and it's in fantastic condition it's like new and it also just says gucci right there across the top in the front But isn't she a beauty? The color is really, really nice, too. And the size is really great. Um, it should fit. I have the largest iPhone. And it does fit really nicely inside of there as well. You're welcome, Shelby. All right, that's it tonight, you guys. Um, I love you all immensely. And I'll see you guys all um, later today. All right, and any questions, send me an email or a DM. Um, and if you're watching this live after the live is already over, check the description box down below. I have all the info for the sale as well as the items and their availability. All right. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Good night, Angela, Shelby, Brina, Tanya, Taryn, Fox1013, Norma, 
um, Shelby, Laura, Lori, uh, Christine, Dodo Bird, Hipatia, Angela, Junie, um, oh, Jag, if you're listening, and Brina, first curator, um, Jean, again, congratulations on winning. Um, Mila, I love you guys so much. Sorry if I didn't mention your name, but I'll see you guys all later. All right, good night. Bye. Adios. <laughs>